name is Tamara Whitney and I'm a recreation manager with the City of Pleasanton's Library and Recreation Department. And I love coffee. One thing I love and what I've always kind of done in my home is create cold brew coffee. So I wanted to show you how you can do a little bit smaller batch scale that you can keep in a mason jar in your refrigerator whenever you need to pick me up. So to get started, we are going to add one cup of ground coffee beans to a bowl. I do a one cup of coffee to four cups of water blend. And that's it, like we are done. I like to leave mine on the counter and you can leave it on the counter for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. You can add um, saran wrap on top, you can add foil on top, you can put it on another plate. You can also add just a linen dish towel. Because this is the magic of television with the library and recreation department, I have one that's already ready to go. It just needs to be strained off. And there's a couple different ways you can strain. I've got cheesecloth here. Um, the cheesecloth is great. It works really well. It has a nice, fine um, mesh, so no coffee beans are gonna get through it. I have the, that going on top of a really small sieve in like just a strainer. You want something that's really small and mesh so that way the coffee beans don't go through it. It's going to take a little bit because the coffee is going to come out with it but we can pour it over. If you're having trouble getting cheesecloth, go ahead and use that same linen dish towel that you had. This is kind of like the gunny sack version and then strain your coffee out that way. This is a really easy way and then you can actually squeeze out any of the excess beans as well. I'm gonna do the cheesecloth for today. So let's get started. And there we go. Now if I was using my sack, I probably would just touch, uh, throw all of this in and then squeeze the extra. Because I'm using the cheesecloth and it comes in two parts, I'm just gonna sacrifice this one for today and then you have cold brew and it's all ready to go. I like to store mine in a mason jar in my refrigerator. Now the coffee is concentrated, so once you wanna get ready to use it, you're gonna to need to dilute it a little bit. And there you have it. This coffee is great cold, so straight from the refrigerator, maybe over ice. Like I said, you wanna do kind of a one-to-one -one ratio. So one cup, coffee, one cup water or one cup milk, depending on how decadent you wanna be. My favorite way to also use this is if you heat it up, it takes away any of the acidity. And it's also something I love to take camping to make extra coffee in the morning. You just heat it up on top of the campfire. I hope you enjoyed my way of making cold brew coffee and I can't wait to see how you make yours. Have a great day.